हेलो बच्चो हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड नाउ सी यर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम अवर केमिस्ट्री दैट इज अवर एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट वी आर कंटिन्यू अवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ओके दैट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एसिड्स वॉट अवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एसिड सो वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स अवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एसिड्स so see here in that classification of acids what we have to discuss mainly okay see here classifications of acids okay so suppose here acids okay here what beta acids in middle okay so after that here we have to categorize like this okay we have to categorize like this now here say depending on uh, their uh, strength okay depending on sources depending on concentration like that we have to categorize okay so see here uh, we will start now our acids classification of acids so see one thing we have to discuss first depending on strength so see here uh, depending depending on strength so beta depending on strength how we, uh, our acids can be categorized yes strong acids and weak acids what beta here strong acids and what weak acids okay these are what depending on strength now see here okay now beta depending on sources so see here depending on sources depending depending on sources so see depending on sources beta here organic and inorganic what beta here yes organic and yes in organic beta this all we have to we have to discuss this in briefly okay now say depending on concentration say depending depending on yes concentration beta depending on concentration means what yes concentrated and dilute okay so see here concentrated and what yes dilute okay understood now see depending on molecular composition here what will come beta depending on say depending on molecular composition see here but depending on molecular composition what will come here oxy acids yes first is what beta here oxy acids and what yes hydra acids hydra acids now here so see here what will come depending on basicity yes depending depending on yes what beta here depending on basicity so as you know mono basic acids di basic acids mono basic acids okay di basic acids and what tri basic acids okay so these are what beta overall classification of our acids so here one by one we have to discuss in briefly okay so shall we start this okay so see here now we will discuss all 
this depending on strain depending on sources depending on concentration okay then depending on molecular composition then what depending on basicity so all these are very very much important okay as uh, it is the initial state of what whatever we are going to discuss about assays okay so see here depending on strength is beta depending depending on what strain so see here uh, one thing depending on strain so how it is uh, how we can define this so strain so strain of acid means what okay so strain of acid means what up to what extent up to what extent our acid is dissociated into its solutions okay up to what extent our acid is dissociated into its solution means they are either completely dissociates or what beta partially dissociates it okay completely dissociated and partially dissociated okay so we will discuss see so whatever that dissociation so that dissociation we call it as a what degree of dissociation up to what extent our acid dissociated into its solution we call it as a what degree degree of dissociation and it is denoted by alpha denoted by symbol alpha degree of dissociation okay so see here very much easy whatever the degree of dissociation the degree of dissociation is responsible for the concentration of h3o plus ions okay so here the degree the degree of degree of dissociation is responsible for the concentration of what yes concentration of h3o plus ions okay in some how we can justify this strain in some acids they are what in a slowly dissociated or we can say what partially dissociated or either in what completely dissociated okay so see here how we can justify this higher the degree of dissociation means what higher the degree of dissociation means higher h3o plus ion concentration okay uh, one thing here we can mention yes higher say higher the degree higher the degree of dissociation means what higher means what higher the concentration of what beta h3o plus ions or uh, vice versa lower the what lower the degree of dissociation lower the concentration of h3o plus okay now we will discuss here on the base of this dissociation of h3o plus in uh, in that particular solution okay so uh, we uh, we have to categorize into following types so see that uh, which types on the base of this depending on strain so say uh, first that is small a strong acids what beta strong acids and other is what weak acids so we will discuss first here strong acids so strong acid means what they are that acid is completely dissociated dissociated into it solution or beta what we can see here they are completely ionized okay completely ionized and produces and produces what large number of h3o plus ions higher the concentration of what h3o plus ions understood so it is what belongs to strong acids okay what i told here they are completely ionized and they produces large number of h3o plus ions or we can say hydronium ion okay so examples as you know examples so see here examples your as you know hcl then h2so4 then what hno3 these are what strong acid these acids are completely dissociated 
completely ionized in that solution okay so we will move towards small b so see small b here reverse of that weak acids so how we can uh, 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 define define this okay how we can define this yes it gives what partially ionized in solution giving low concentration of what h3 plus ions simply okay so some are here weak acids also okay so what will come here beta lesser degree of dissociation lesser here degree of dissociation and for your strong acid what here higher the degree of dissociation means what beta alpha here value of alpha is higher and regarding weak acid lesser the value of here yes alpha that is what degree of dissociation understood so here we will see uh, mostly beta whatever organic acids are weak acids so see uh, example uh, we can write here okay uh, ch3 covh then your uh, hcovh also methanoic acid ethanoic acid okay this word beta ethanoic acid this word methanoic acid because of one carbonyl atom it is methanoic acid methanoic acid and this word beta ethanoic acid ethanoic acid as uh, you discuss in uh, lower standard this uh, two carbon atom is ethane one carbon atom is methane okay so these are examples of weak acids so understood these are completely ionized or completely dissociated here higher the degree of dissociation here what lower the degree of dissociation and it is partially ionized okay understood this whatever are first that is depending on what strength so one more here term we introduce which term beta yes which term degree of dissociation that is alpha now we will see what are next depending on sources so see okay depending on sources so as you know here okay as you know depending on sources means organic and inorganic so we will uh, first uh, discuss here organic acids so as you know this organic acids organ organism means these acids are mainly formed from what plants and animals or mainly we can what we can here discuss these are what naturally occurring acids okay so generally organic acids are what weak acids so whatever i am saying that you have to uh, note down okay it is very much important each and every word is important you have to we have to you have to capture that word and you have to save it to your memory okay so whatever i discuss what how you are giving acids they are formed from what plants and animals okay so these are mainly occurring in nature okay and these acids these organic acids are what uh, generally weak acids okay so we now only we discuss uh, some examples okay so again we will uh, discuss here examples with a acetic acid okay then uh, here we discuss methanoic acid okay then oxalic acid these are what is organic acids okay some uh, we will write here some important acids and their sources okay so ready for that so we will write here acids and their what sources okay so see here first uh, we will discuss uh, sources what we done here sources sources and uh, acid here we will write acid okay so see first first say red ants okay red ants for 
फॉर्मिक एसिड फॉर्मिक एसिड ओके नाउ सेकेंड टी इन टी विच एसिड ये टैनिक एसिड टैनिक एसिड नाउ थर्ड सो सी थर्ड गैस्ट्रिक गैस्ट्रिक जूस गैस्ट्रिक जूस मीन्स ऑल वॉट एवर प्रेजेंट दैट एसिड इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर स्टमक एच सी एल हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड नाउ सी फोर सो सी फोर दवर टोमैटो टोमैटो और वे कैन से स्पिनेच स्पिनेच लिव यू नो ओके सो सी दैट एसिड इज ऑक्जालिक एसिड विच एसिड बिडा Oxalic acid. Now fifth, so your fifth is curd. So in curd, which acid? Yes, lactic acid. Which acid? Better lactic acid. Then your sixth, yes, vinegar. Vinegar which? Now only we discuss acetic acid. Seventh. So in seven, tamarind. Tamarind, which acid? Yes, tartaric acid. Okay, then your orange lemon. Orange, then a uh, lemon. Which acid? Yes, citric acid. Citric acid, or we can say what in uh, vitamin C that is also ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid, understood. And many more, so many acids. Okay, and we will discuss here uh, ninth one fats. Fats means which acid? Yes, stearic acid. Stearic acid. Understood this all? Okay. So these are uh, important. What your bida? Organic acids sources. Okay. You have to keep in mind. Now we will discuss next whatever our ah uh, in uh, depending on sources. That is B small B part in organic acids. What here? in organic acids so basically in organic in organic chemistry means what yes in organic means chemistry other than carbon compounds okay or we can say it is not present in nature that acids present not present in nature okay and uh, we can categorize into uh, these acids for ranges from strong acid to weak acid Okay, in organic acid it ranges from C S yes, strong acids. Strong acids means your H C L, H two O so four. It ranges from strong acid to weak acid. So weak acid is what? Yes, weak weak acid H N O two. H N O two is what, brother? Nitrous acid. Then uh, we will uh, discuss here sulfurous acid. H2SO3 yes sulfurous sulfurous acid means basically inorganic acid is not present in nature okay so it is ranges from uh, strong to weak acid as like this with the help of examples uh, we discuss here okay so most of the acid these are what mineral acids But and that acid is completely ionized in water and they undergo hundred percent dissociation. Okay, what be that? Hundred percent dissociation. They are uh, they are showing it's Cl H two super H N O three. They are completely ionized in water. Okay, even if uh, you can observe this thing in our chemistry lab also, how they are completely ionizing. Okay, now we will discuss here. depending on yes concentration so see depending on 
depending on concentration how our acids are categorized yes how our acids are categorized first is concentrated or we can write like this also concentrated acids okay in that whatever your acids are present in fix amount of aqueous solution your acid is present in fix amount of aqueous solution means what it is aqueous solution sorry what if we call call it what concentrated means acid ki matra jyada usme understood in a fixed amount of aqueous solution these are what your concentrated acid and uh, what is your dilute acids yes dilute acids how we can categorize how we can define this here in this what more amount of water and little amount of your acid part okay understood so these are what beta your concentrated acid and what dilute acids okay now we will move towards next or uh, that is depending on your molecular composition so see depending on uh, molecular composition so whatever this uh, uh, strong acid weak acid uh, it is present in our chemistry lab uh, in our that rack as you uh, if you visited our chemistry lab then you saw there a uh, rack also there in that uh, reagent bottles in that dilute acid dilute chino3 dilute ammonium hydroxide okay it is what your dilute acids or either the dilute bases are there and strong acid we have to keep aside in that sand because it is what as you know it is highly corrosive okay we can observe in our chemistry lab also okay so see uh, whatever our next depending on what beta molecular composition so so we will discuss that depending on molecular composition so see depending on molecular composition it means what oxy acids and hydro acids yes say oxy acids and hydro acids so first we will discuss oxy acids so uh, we can write here definition acids in which acids in which oxygen so beta oxygen is present in a higher amount so oxygen acids in which oxygen is present okay essentially oxygen is present essentially along with along with other elements along with other elements for examples HNO3, then H2SO4. Okay, so these are what beta? Uh, oxy acids, etc. HNO3, H2SO4, acetic acid. These are what? Acids in which oxygen is present essentially along with other elements. Now, suppose here we will discuss hydro acids. So, in hydro acids, how we can write a definition? Yes. Here beta hydrogen. Okay. Hydrogen is present essentially. The acids in which yes. Hydrogen is present essentially. But beta here oxygen is absent. Oxygen is absent. Okay. Acids in your hydrogen is present essentially along with other elements also. Okay, we can write along with yes, other elements. Oxygen is strictly absent here. Okay, oxygen is strictly absent. So, so many examples here, beta. CHCl, then HBr. HI, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromo. Okay. What we can call this? HBr, hydrogen bromide, hydroiodic acid, hydrobromic acids, 
like that we can call these acid hydroxides okay with respect to halogens understood so these are what oxy acids and what hydro acids depending on molecular composition okay so we will uh, discuss our next that is last here depending on basicity what we are here depending yes depending on basicity okay so depending on basicity now only are told mono basic acid di basic acid tri basic acid okay so in mono basic acids so first we will discuss what is basicity so basicity is what number of replaceable h plus ions what beta number of replaceable h plus ions is what your basicity okay and acidity means what number of replaceable oh minus ions so, so that we are going to discuss in that basis part first we will concentrate acid have a basicity and base have acidity so this you keep in mind this understood so we will discuss here basicity okay number of replaceable what beta h plus ions or hydrogen ions okay so that h plus ions so again uh, as you know we i told one thing whatever your h plus ions forming in solution it is what uh, quite unstable so for to achieve stability they will further react with water and what they are forming a hydronium ion concentration h3o plus ions they are forming we discussed in our previous class okay so see here mono basic acids okay so here our small a part mono basic acids so see here in mono basic acids okay mono basic means one only your hydrogen or h plus ions is replaceable here per molecule understood mono basic means mono means single whatever here h plus or h3o plus ion is replaceable okay so see here uh, with the example so that example as you know it's cl so h plus plus cl minus okay and if you are considering aqueous solution so your reaction become as like this hcl plus h2 as you know acid and base so it's 3o plus plus what cl minus understood okay so this is a basic difference or here we can write or okay and uh, some other uh, also example hbr hi we can write uh, okay your acidic acid also ch3coh uh, we discuss ch3c here uh, we will uh, say this ch3coh ch3co minus plus h plus means one replaceable h plus so it belongs to what mono basic acids okay now we will discuss beta here di basic acids okay small b is what yes small b di basic acids so in di basic acids obviously how much 2h plus replaceable okay to h plus replaceable per molecule so see we can write here examples okay we will, we can write here so see h2so4 beta okay so h2so4 how it dissociates like that also we can write 2h plus plus so4 2 minus okay but suppose if you are going to write in aqueous solution or or also we can write here CH2SO4 plus H2 acid and base as, as I already told acid is what amphoteric in nature they are can they can act as a acid as well as base so see here H3O plus plus HSO4 minus this further will react because it contain hydrogen 
so it can react with this wear water aqueous solution so see here what you will get according to our lower brown state acids are proton donor bases are proton acceptor h3 plus plus what so 4 2 minus here you will get understood means a diabasic diabasic here also we proved here also we proved diabasic acid another example uh, we can write uh, oxalic acid also another example beta then uh, h2co3 carbonic acid also we can write in this fashion okay understood so these are what examples of diabasic acids i hope you understood all things now see last or small c okay that small c is what they are saying try basic acids try basic acids so in try basic acids okay so see yes acids how much replaceable h plus or h2 plus ions three because it's tri basic acids okay so examples so see example is 3 pu4 so see here beta h3 pu4 how we can write here 3 h plus plus pu4 3 minus or we can write like this see how we can write beta h3 pu4 plus water h3 pu4 plus water what here yes h3 o plus plus h2 pu4 minus then this contain hydrogen so it will further react h2 pu4 minus plus h2 so here again acid and base h3 o plus plus what h pu4 2 minus and again it will react okay h pu4 h pu4 2 minus plus h2 that is what yes h3 o plus plus what you will get pu4 3 minus so c3 is 3 h3 o plus science okay and here also 3 h plus ion means it is what by the tri basic your okay so see here uh, whatever this our depending on yes depending on what basidae mono basic di basic tri basic we will discuss along with what beta examples okay i hope you understood all okay so see here uh, as you know regarding suppose you are going to discuss this uh, basidae so one thing here important to, so you must know beta these uh, acids phosphoric acid phosphorus acid phosphenic acid okay so see here we can draw here structures also of this all as like this H3PO4 okay then H3PO3 then what about H3PO2 we can draw your structure with the help of structure also we can identify easily so see here like this okay as like this H3PO4 so see here as like this okay see here h3 pu3 see here hydrogen hydrogen wherever beta yes wherever electronegative difference that oxygen that sorry that hydrogen only you are removed okay so see here electronegative difference here also here also here also so beta it contain how much three replaceable replaceable h plus ions here how much here and here 
so two replaceable H plus ions here only one one replaceable yes H plus ions so understood so basicity of this tri basic di basics mono basic phosphoric acid phosphorus acid and what phosphenic acid understood so these are what very much important whatever we saw okay so hope you understood all if you have further any doubts so you can uh, send your doubts on whatsapp okay so most of the thing about uh, your classification of seeds i covered okay thank you